back with Ken Rosenthal and Eric Karros, Matt Vaskersian, and it's our pleasure to have Giants right-hander Jeff Samarja join us this inning as well. Uh, hey, Jeff, the first question I have for you is Matt Cain hits the big two-run double, and we heard guys or saw guys at least up yelling and hooting and hollering. Give me the funniest bench jockeying that you heard by your teammates when Kane cashed in there. Oh, man, we were just happy to put some wood on the ball. He, he think he'd been on a little uh, streak there of not even making contact. <laughs> so he, he was joking about it earlier today. So, hey, you keep swinging enough, you might run into one. Ball in two strikes. The count to Addison Russell. And on the mound, Jeff, as, you, as you're watching Matt Kane and getting to know him, he's had real good returns the last couple of starts now three in a row that have been good I mean you've been watching him as an opponent for a long time give us your interpretation your your take on him as a staff mate now yeah he's great precision you know he reminds me a lot of uh, Johnny over there um, just always hitting corners tight slider great change up I um, mean he's a gamer you know it was a little slow start for him uh, he had a short spring he had a you know deal with some things and, and so he didn't really get that full spring to get his work in but you're really seeing uh, what he can do now his last few times out and you know, hopefully we can keep giving them some runs and um, you know, give them that W. Ball to no strikes the count to David Ross batting with the bases empty. And for you coming over to San Francisco there's been a lot of talk about what a great fit it's been and, and sure when you get off to a great start like you have everybody can look at it and say it's a great fit. But talk about the culture here in San Francisco you've been a part of a few major league teams before getting here. What's what's the difference in San Francisco. Yeah. They do a great job with personnel here, whether it's coaches and or players. Uh, they get the right guys around, the right mentality, and you know it's a day-to-day -day approach here. It's amazing, uh, win or lose, and no where how good or how bad it went. You see these guys show up the next day and get back to work. So, um, you know, short-term memory and come up uh, for a new day and, and try and win a ball game. It's 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 pretty uh, pretty cool to watch. Every, each one of these guys love this game a lot, and you see see it with the way they work and the way they play out there. Getting an opportunity to. To pitch on the same staff with, with Madison Bumgarner and again Johnny Cueto. What is it you've learned from those two guys, or anything at all? Yeah, I mean, obviously Madison, just the way he competes, he goes out there no matter no matter what, and he leaves it all out there. I love to see it. He wants to complete uh, complete a game. Same with Johnny. Johnny does so many different things. It's really great to, uh, to have him in front of me. And just get to watch how he attacks hitters. You know, he he has so many different pitches. He all his pitches, both sides of the plate, up and down. So uh, he usually finds uh, you know what they're not hitting so you just kind of just follow his lead and um, he's fun to watch man he loves the game and, and same with bum um, you know there's a lot of a lot of gamers on this team. They, I, I got to ask you you know we, we talked about Matt Cain getting the big double here. I saw you earlier this year had a strikeout and snapped a bat over your knee. <laughs> oh man it happens sometimes uh, that rage just boils over right. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jeff thanks for the visit congrats on such a great start best of luck the rest of the year. Thanks fellas have a good one.